I had been doing paintings about everyday life, everyday activities, and someone suggested I follow one person out into the world. So the first everyday activity we approached was shopping. And I had hired this actress to pretend to shop. I follow her around and I buy her groceries and I knew I was doing something surreptitious because I had my camera low. I literally took one shot. 30 seconds later, somebody taps me on the shoulder and says, I'm sorry, you have to leave. That happened repeatedly. in Europe during Walmart's greatest expansion. I wasn't really aware of how huge it was. One of the things that I started to realize is how many millions shop every single day. It became clear to me that this was probably the most visited interior space on the planet. Whatever your views are, positive or negative, related to Walmart, it just is. And from an artist's perspective, the idea of dressing this environment that is an undeniable component to contemporary life is exciting. Many people who loved books feared the advent of stores like Barnes & Noble and Borders. As technology is developing and as the culture is moving on, you can see the built-in obsolescence of places like Barnes & Noble. If that's a harbinger of what's going to happen with big box stores like Walmart, people will feel nostalgic about something that people were terrified about. So what if we elevate the everyday moment into an act of beauty or a piece of art? Finding beauty or significance in what are throwaway moments for everyone else. I had been doing these paintings for five years. I had done a show in New York. I had done a show in Toronto and one in Shanghai. And then in 2010, I was on NPR and I made the comment that I had been invited to leave more Walmarts than most New Yorkers had ever been in. Shortly thereafter, Walmart contacted me and they said, we actually like what you do. We'd like to make it easy for you to do what you want to do without getting thrown out. From the guy who gets kicked out of stores for taking pictures, I became the guy who had full access. My guest tonight is an artist who does impressionist paintings of Walmart shoppers. His painting costs $14.99 for a pack of six. Please welcome Brendan O'Connell. 150 years ago, you could traverse Paris 10 times and not find one thousandth of the goods that you can get in a Walmart. So you have whole neighborhoods, whole cities of goods underneath one roof. The door is now being opened for me to actually execute a painting inside a Walmart. You have to think 90% of the people who go into Walmart have never actually been to a museum or a gallery. Some people will think it an inconvenience that someone's blocking the the bread aisle. Other people will find it fascinating, and then kids always think it's magical to see color marks on a page. Well, part of the exciting thing is I don't know where it's going. All I know is there's this time where this is resonating with a certain point in American culture, our place in globalism, our place in consumption, our fetishistic relationship to products, our desire to connect with real people. All that is very consistent with where we are as a culture.